because of all the Bruins planeswalkers. Are excellent, but, yeah. Uh, he does have some dead weight in his deck. Um, the one Massacre Worm. A, a Massacre Worm, sub. probably not that good. Uh, post board, he gets things like Beast within, so he actually has more ways to fight planeswalkers. Game one, a few dead cards, but you know, uh, yeah. I still think he's okay, whereas um, he's probably still, still pretty fine. Yeah. Oh. All right, so we're underway here. David, David Ochoa Ocho starting off with a Sea Chrome Coast. So Sam, despite that he's a ramp deck, you know, not not all in on the ramp plan. He's got a couple different ways that he plays here. Uh, Ratchet Bomb from David Ochoa. I'm not sure if he knows what Sam's playing yet. Uh, and there's a, sphere, a sphere is a pretty telling card to play. Right. Uh, D Sam Spying does have a Day of Judgment in his hand. That's going to be pretty much a mulligan here. An isolated chapel entering the battlefield tapped. I'm kind of playing where they play around Manalik. He has a Solem to go for. I imagine he goes for it anyway. Yeah. So playing around. Your trying to play around. It's going to get a Manalik. Trying yeah. to play around Solemn Simulacrum with a. Uh, trying to play around a Manalik by waiting with a Solemn Simulacrum is not a uh, not an easy endeavor. That's not a bad thing to have a Manalik. Solemn Simulacrum, I mean, it's a very good card against control. You know, it gains card advantage. They have to kill it. You two for one them. But. You know, in or like it appears to be Ochoa. Yeah, Ochoa's gonna just ratchet bomb away the sphere here, right? And create his own lingering yeah. souls. So that's gonna really force Sam to have to go over the top instead of sneaking with his aggro plan. Um, Sam does have a grave titan in his hand, so it's very doable. Plays Var Vault of the Archangel. Uh, looks like he has his own. Yeah, that's a singleton soul. vault. He's gonna respond to his, his own, own lingering souls. souls. One thing like David Ochoa's pretty okay. <laughs> Gentleman provides the spirits. Um, David Charles will be fine trading these off. Probably will make Sam attack though. Um, yep. David with a, with more mana leaks, but no more lands. Yeah, misses his third land drop, uh, fourth land drop here rather. So. So, uh, Sam with plenty of time, maybe we'll just out mana him through the pack. So, but remember, Ocho, I think with two mana leaks, so as soon as he hits the fourth land, will be hard to resolve bigger spells for Sam. Right. Sam's still with a grave titan, so eventually that. You know, because because of the he's going to have to go over the top. He's going to probably have to resolve something big. You can't just like you can't probably nickel and dime Ochoa this game. Right. And o Ochoa passing with the lingering souls in this graveyard, representing either for Bill Nalcomy, think twice, man, like like a variety of instances he has access to here. Casts a ratchet bomb. And uh, yeah. Sam, so he's going to think twice here before blockers. Sam with a, a Day of Judgment in his hand and a Ratchet Bomb in play, really sort of struggling with his the dead right. cards he's drawing. Well, with Ratchet Bomb, actually, is pretty live here. He may not know. It's a slow burn to get to a Planeswalker, but yeah, he can it cash seems it like in. time's on his side. Sam might not know that that's what he has to be doing here, and he doesn't. He doesn't ra Ratchet up, but I think that's probably the play he would want to do is start cranking up the Ratchet Bomb. Mm -hmm. Well, Sam actually with no more lands either, asking cards in hand. Ochoa not to think twice in the yard, obviously that will be his play. So it appears Sam's hand is two Grave Titans and a Day of Judgment. Alright, well, he, he he can put Ochoa on, you know, Mana Leak check, where... Yeah, he's gonna play it slow here. Play it slow. Ochoa will let this resolve, it's fine. Two damage a turn. Ochoa just needs to keep hitting his land drops. Right. But with Think Twice in the graveyard, and this this game definitely going at Ochoa's pace right now. Draws the extra card, and still, I don't, I don't see another land yet. He has a Day of Judgment as well. And there we go. There, there's the there's land. a Glacial Fortress for him. And, yeah, so that, he also, I believe, has a Gideon Jura in his hand. He's going to flash back his own souls, though. And plays another Isolated Chapel. Conspicuously leaving up two mana. <laughs> uh, Sam still not cranking up the Ratchet Bomb. Which was probably okay, just letting this hit him. Either way, really. Yeah, I think Ochoa has a curse in his hand, so he's weighing against... Like, can I wait, take a couple hits here and then clear out everything? Or am I better off trading now? Right, because he, he can clear off everything, and that's obviously very powerful. He can let Sam have a turn of Grave Titan, and then he has a Day of Judgment to follow it up. And going to keep leaking on leaking the soul. Yeah, so Sam was able to induce a mana leak there and keep his Grave Titans in hand. So hopefully trying to set up a spot where he can land something huge. 
I imagine this might Ochoa may tap out swing and curse. Him. I think he, yeah he might curse him. Having well, Day of Judgment back up is a pretty compelling his, reason to just the danger yeah, just curse. Even, the danger here, which he which he's running, is that Sam will play primeval type. Right, which is yeah much worse for him. Sam contemplating the ratchet bomb, still leaving it at zero. No Primeal Titan, just hits the two Lingering Souls. Don't really like that play very much. He has Grave Titan. He has to think that the only answer Ochoa here has is a Day of Judgment. The Souls are probably as good as dead anyway. I would have left the Ratchet Bomb. Right, also you just get another shot at it, right? You're not in any rush. You can you still untap him right now. You can untap and make the same play. Right. And Ochoa with the Day of Judgment. Uh, so now this is going to be a big man only test. Does he have the third one? Because you had to assume the guy that he's going to try to just stick his grave Sam here. Sam also has a Soren in his hand. He can try for that. It still gets mana leaked. He doesn't have another land. I think the question is, which one? Yeah, Soren, not much of a threat here because of Curse of Death's Hold. David Lachol probably just let that resolve. It doesn't really present too right, much it's not, of a threat. Not, yeah, not that compelling with the Curse in play. The threat is that Ocho will have to kill the Soren before... And that thing's dead. They should have that off the yeah. table. Yep, oh, there you go. Noticed it. <laughs> not sure. Not sure. Sam noticed that when he chose chose what spell to resolve. Uh, but Ochoa is going to have to attack the Soren. If Soren gets an ultimate out, well, come to If Soren gets an ultimate out, how bad is that for Ochoa? Oh, here is Gideon. Gideon, excellent at killing other planeswalkers. Yep. And he's playing casting Ratchet Bomb. He has no other, okay. no other. <coughs> Counter spells here. So now he can definitely land his Grave Titan here. And he's just drawn an Elish Norn? Yes. Can't cast the Elish Norn. Probably just Grave Titan here. He's yeah. going to demand that Ochoa show him another Day of Judgment, really. Okay. And second Grave Titan comes down for Sam Gerd. Ratchet Bomb pretty sweet here. Should be able to get four zombies with the Ratchet Bomb. Soren moving up to five. So we're going to look at a main phase thing, thing twice here. Ochoa digging for Day of Judgment or... Not leaving up mana for Day of Judgment, actually. Oh, no, those are chapels or more blue-blacks? Those are chapels. Okay, so he has whatever spell he wants. Opting to crack Ratchet Bomb this on the This probably means Liliana. Yep. Yes. And it does. So this is a big turn. I mean, Liliana, Sora, a, great, a great find off the thing twice. Yep. Huge uh, turn for Ochoa there. Almost a sealed deal right there. Yep. Uh, Gideon, even the Elishner in Sam's hand, not won't do very much. You know, I still still think it comes down to a little bit that cracked ratchet bomb. Really, I think haunting Sam at this point. That yeah. It could be on three at, by now, especially on five. We get would get rid of the curse and the Gideon. We I mean, just discard Sam. Probably pretty happy about that. Gets us yeah, throw away his day of judgment. Go for the throw. No, show his 13, hand though. Coming up to the main event stage, we're gonna get you started. Ten dollar draft number thirteen. Coming up to the main event stage, we're gonna get you started. Almost certainly gives. Yeah, I think we're gonna start. Just use I it. think Gideon's gonna start uh, finishing off the game here. Yep. Is Liliana there at two, not one, I believe. Yeah, it, it is. It, it did last turn, and then they both discarded yep. this turn, so it's on two. She has another edict. Looking pretty good for Choa. Sam's actually played a lot of his large threats. Yeah. Doesn't have too many threats left. And this should be pretty much it for this game. Up to three. There we go. A zoom in. <laughs> Gideon, Gideon swings, putting Sam down to six. Yep. And that will... That should be the ball game. Can't imagine what he would draw here. The post board, so post board, obviously after Sam sees a lot of Planeswalkers, I have a choice. He's going to sign in stuff like Beast Within. Uh... I actually still like Ratchet Bomb here. It's, I think he needs to answer Ochoa's Planeswalkers. Right, and he might have cards in his deck that are actually just worse, is, like, the, is the other issue. Day of Judgment, Massacre Worm. I think, well, I mean, Obli oh, okay, Ochoa, Sam will bring in a Karn Liber Liberated. I think he will bring in two Beast Withins. Do you, like, uh, the Jace, do you like Memory Adept for Ochoa? In this sort of matchup, Memory Depth is usually more for a control matchup. I think Ochoa still wants to be the answer deck. I don't really see Attention the point of having another Planeswalker that doesn't affect the board. I think Life's Finale is going to come in out of uh, Life's Ochoa. Finale will be I, I, When I was putting one of Efro's matchups yesterday, I, I uh, watched him have a singleton one of these in his deck. <laughs> so, this is, uh, it is, it is Wrath of God plus get three cards out of their deck. Very strong, especially yeah. in a deck with so few threats. Right. You'll see Life's Finale probably dissipate and may probably Nile Spellbomb. Uh, 
you just really want to eliminate the lingering souls. So Sam's deck two dimensional with lingering souls and with titans. David would really like to reduce that to a one dimensional fight because the one dimensional fight of counter spells versus six drops something that Osho would love to fight. So right. uh, it's almost a free roll to run the spell bombs. I, I'd imagine them all. They all come in. Yep. So yeah, Sam not able to pick up the first game. Not that surprising since, you know, as we saw, you know, he had a ratchet bomb, which was not the most, it was fine, but not super efficient. He had a, it was choking on a day of judgment there. He actually basically hit six mana and then had a bunch of big stuff to do from there. And it was still not enough to overcome. But show was card drawing and sweepers and planeswalkers. All right. Just a very challenging matchup, certainly game one. Yeah, well, it, it, the Lingering Souls out of Ochoa is so strong in the sense that it, it protects all his Planeswalkers, and that he can just trade them with Sam's Lingering Souls is it, really good for him. Yeah, one, yeah certainly, the, certainly the Lingering Souls are much more powerful in Ochoa's deck than in Sam's deck in the context of the matchup. Yeah, they really... Well, really, it's whoever draws... I mean... Drawing more of them is pretty important. Yeah. Draft Ochoa wants one. One's probably enough. Stage, one's enough to make sure that that dimension doesn't do 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 The second for Ochoa, not very important. Uh, Sam, so yeah, it, it's more, I think more, I agree, more important that Ochoa draws them. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a lot of Sam's card advantage works under the presumption that his spells are actually resolving. Like, right. Grave Titan is worth somewhere between three and a million cards, depending on what you're playing, <laughs> what you're playing against. Ellis Norn, very similar. Um, but unfortunately, it's all predicated on actually resolving and attacking and whatever, and that's just very challenging to do against a deck that's basically all card draw, card draw sweepers and counter spells. Well, actually, uh, Elish Norn not act, and that one of the things this deck does is Elish Norn's not probably only one card in the matchup, which is one of the reasons you know it's such a such a Tim powerful Dover card against aggro, but such a it's really a four seven for seven, seven sometimes Tim Dover yeah. to the public against USA control decks. Um, Thank you. And this is actually a fairly honest Primeval Titan deck as far as these things go. He's not like getting two Valor cuts. He's not even getting like a Wolf Run and an Nexus. He's just getting some lands with some utility. Yeah, so even though Resolve Primeval Titan doesn't necessarily mean that Sam's in the driver's seat. He just right. gets two lands out of his deck. One of them being a Gavoni Township, pretty good. But I mean, once again, if, if Ochoa can take care of all the Lingering Souls, it doesn't matter all that much. Right. So I'm trying to think what actually Ochoa cuts out of his deck because he has very little in the way of dead weight. Like the two Ratchet Bombs are pretty poor. And I, yeah, those seem those seem like something I might not like as much. It, it's tough. Like Curse He's, is only really good against Lingering Souls and Soren. I think his own Sorens are probably not the Planeswalker I want the most right now. So Odevo De is running two Sorens. You think that the the presence of of Soren in the other deck means that you're more inclined to keep him in just there's, as a legend there's rule? Soren in the other deck. There's Lingering Souls in the other deck. I don't think making a one one Life Link is a particularly relevant ability in this matchup for Ochoa. And the emblem, obviously, not very relevant. Um, yeah. I oftentimes, Elspeth Knight Errant had this really good thing in control decks where it eventually won the game, but you know it made a chump blocker every turn, which was very hard for aggro, especially you cast a day of judgment and then you have a chump blocker every turn. Uh, that's really good, but I don't see chump blockers, especially life linkers on the ground, being that good against Sam here. Yeah. You know, so, so the the effect that you want out of it isn't that isn't really that strong. I would rather just have things. You know, I'd, I'd rather have dissipate. I'd rather have negate. Yeah, yeah, those cards certainly. Maybe not negate so much. Dissipate for sure. All right, Sam leads off on Woodland Cemetery. I'm gonna see and evolving wilds. wilds, which also looks like Moreland Haunt, which also looks like Drown Yard and Ghost Quarter. <laughs> and rampant growth, rampant growth from Sam. A fine spell in the matchup, not a great one. Scott Paris, Scott Paris, please come to the public event stage. Scott Paris, Scott Paris to the public event stage. Thank you. Ochoa, so David Ochoa gets a swamp. No really early black cards from Ochoa. He has two go for the throw. He probably just has all the other colors in his hand, and he does. See Chrome Coast. <laughs> Representing mana leak. The perfect mana. Whether or not Sam tests it. Gonna try it. That 
elicited counter spells from Ochoa all of last game. Does not appear he has mana leak in his hand. No, he has go for the throat. A lot of land. Dissipate. Like Ochoa's hand actually looks to be fairly on the weak side. Yeah, from what a I lot saw of there. lands. A lot of lands, which is great for a control deck, but he has to make sure he has ways to deal with. Yeah, the fear here is that, you know, Titans. he tested the water. Sam tested the waters with the Solemn in the first game, and it got countered. The fact that it wasn't hit with the leak, to from Sam's perspective, might mean that Ochoa's just has nothing. You can't assume Ochoa has nothing to go for the throat, Ochoa. I mean, go for throat's a good assumption. Attention he probably doesn't players. keep it something with nothing. For oh, sure. Ochoa's game plan in this game, he has consecrated things. It's really just going to be like, build up to the Sphinx. Draft number 15. Please report he does have Grave Titan. He also has Linger Souls. He's yeah. going to go for Grave He's gonna Titan. He's going to test the waters here. Show Demanding the mana leak. The dissipate, uh, I, I think. Yeah, that's going to get hit with the Dissipate. Gonna hit with the Dissipate. Ochoa also had the option to let it resolve and go for the throat it, but right now two zombies, probably just too much pressure right. So Ochoa has just drawn a Jace, Memory Adept. Yep, Lingering Souls of his own. So, probably plenty of blockers here, and Sam now with Primeval Titan draw. He'll go for Massacre. Oh, it's a move. Massacre. Four damage, <laughs> six damage. Very strong draw right there. Well, he didn't draw the Massacre, but he, all, he drew a Primeval Titan, so... Drops, drops Ochoa to 12. Ochoa on the back, really on a back foot. Now he draws the mana leak. Yep. Uh, he has Jace Memory Adept. Sam pr could care less about it. Right. I think when you're asking about whether or not to slide in Jace, this is kind of the board state of why I was kind of in the anti-Jace camp. I, I see how on an empty board, Jace is an excellent card. But I, I, I think one thing Sam needs to be sure, David needs to be sure in this matchup that he, everything can be answered. And after that, right. everything else is, um, he, you know, you, you, it's great to have. It's great to have such a high impact card as Jace, but you need to make sure that you live toward that. Remember, Ochoa now with Mana Leak, but Sam can just cast another Solemn, which is actually an excellent play yep. right here. It's just these are excellent when they start resolving. It's just invalidating the Mana Leaks as the game progresses and gives. Sam pressure with insurance against Day of Judgment. Right. He just gets the gas back up. Ochoa does not have the sixth land, does have a consecrated Sphinx. His probably his game plan here is probably just to drop a land and slam the Sphinx and cross fingers. Yep. And Sam passes the turn. Ochoa Does not hit the land? No, he does. He yeah, no, the Seagram Coast. Right. So he's going to have to make Lingering Souls instead for a turn. Come over to the side of that stage. Attention, Magic players. Please sign up for the Modern Challenge. Now, Ochoa's, Ochoa's still at 10. He was at 12 last year. Yeah, he's at 12, then to 10. Going to block a Solon. Yep. He's going to take two. Sam's going to get a draw card here. Final points at the end of four rounds. Just threw a Garrick. Uh, he don't does not have a Garrick. I don't believe. Oh, that was a Soren. Yeah, it's a Soren. Okay. Gonna make a, a creature, and probably ramp his mana a little more. So we have Spear of the Suns. Gonna get mana leaks. David yep. decided to use use the card yeah, while yep. he can. He's <laughs> gonna tap out for the Sphinx anyway. And that mana leak doesn't get any better if Spear of the Suns resolves. So. Right. Is that a Titan in Sam's hand, or maybe is it another sphere? He has a ling. I can't really tell. Maybe he has an. Ob it's, or it's an Oblivion Ring, I believe. David draws two cards, and it's a, it's O Ring. O Ring Emblem puts Ochoa to three. I think I think that's I think that's the play I like here. Yeah, and the Planeswalkers are pretty awesome here, just as giving. Uh Sam a, a way to advance his board while giving him some insurance against Day of Judgment. Problem with O-Ring is it means he can he does he's one land short on his Primeval Titan. That'll be fine. Drop him to yeah. three. Sam, Sam moves up to the ever relevant twenty-two life points. <laughs> <laughs> so last card he has. Oh, it's not it's not Primeval Titan. Sorry, it's Beast Within. 
Which I actually, that's, that's also excellent. Yep. Uh, did he just draw that? I, it's an interesting thing. So he opted to let Ochoa then. Grand Prix Provided he didn't draw it, he opted to let Ochoa uh, draw the two cards of Consecrated Saints. That is time in round 13. I, mean, right, I think that he doesn't care too much about the... Like, the worst thing that can happen here is that he gets Gideon, right? Right, Gideon, but then Beast Within's fine. Or is it... Right, well, that's what you want. Yeah. You would rather has, save... Yeah, he has a Titan, Green Titan and Beast Within. There's a Curse of Death's Hold in Nochoa's hand, which unfortunately doesn't do anything, because if you resolve it, Soren can make a second emblem, win the game. I think the, the concern with Beast Within is that his clock is way slower if he takes that route, because he gets to block that turn. Um, so maybe it's better just to let Ochoa draw the two cards and right. avoid using your Beast Within if you can. We actually, Sam, we might see Sam end step Beast Within his own land here. Yeah, that's another another option he has afforded to him. But yeah, I think in that position I'm happy to let Ochoa draw draw two and just have the flexibility of Beast Within as backup. Right. Ochoa, Alchemy, I think looking for a Day of Judgment, but... You know, the even a day of judgment is is still weak to the end step. Beast within will kill him. Right. Mana leak two Sorens. I think Ochoa out of out, out of outs here. <laughs> it's gonna O ring, on the O ring. Which I think is fine, actually. If I'm if I'm if I'm Sam, I let that resolve and I beast within my own land. Right. It's just a weird situation here because now he's back in Manalik territory. If he wants to fire off the beast within at the end of the turn, so now he has to weigh like. That's fine though. If he fires out, if he, it gets Manalik, he makes a second emblem, kills him. Sure. So I think it's fine. I think end step. I I don't like that he didn't. I liked the end step beast within your own land actually. Gonna beast within the O-ring that's on the O-ring. Yeah, I don't. I, I I really don't like this line as much. I think the end step beast within oh, yeah, won think, the game yeah, there. You're right. He possibly is letting Ochoa back into the game. Soren makes a second emblem. This still this still I think is lethal. Yeah, I mean if he has a kill spell then. But right, yeah, right, yeah a yeah, go yeah. for the throat would have would have got him there. Sam wins it, uh, going to game three. So yeah, pretty much a, a an ideal sculpting of the game from Sam's perspective. He got to start off with a ramp spell. Ochoa didn't have a mana leak for the Solemn, and he was sort of able to ramp over the top of a lot of uh, ramp over the top, and and resolve some good threats there. Ochoa was sort of on the back foot the whole time. To me, it shows really why Ochoa game one. Ochoa was um, despite the fact. Okay, Sam's back. Sam's deck has Solemn Simulacro. Sorry, has Primeval Titan, Grave Titan, Elish Norn. And, and Ochoa very quickly chose to man leak all the Solemn Simulacrums he saw. Yep. And I think that's a, that game shows exactly why. Uh, just, it's a 2-2 two, two for 4, but it's so much more in this matchup. Can't really effectively kill them. You know, they're, they're, they're 3 for 1s every time he spends a kill spell on. Right. So, what do you think cards just change in... From David's perspective, what cards do you think change a lot in value versus, of like on the play versus Winter on the draw? Number six going up to the play versus draw. Side of it, stage, um, standard but do you ever Number like to the side of if you're playing stage, a deck like please. Achilles, do you ever see yourself cutting cards like think twice when you're on the draw and keeping them in while you're on the play, or are those cards kind of too integral to what the deck's trying to do that you just never touch them? I, I usually don't touch the. Th well, in a matchup like this, no, I don't really touch the think twice. Um, what you want to make—I mean, what what you really care about is that you have the business spells on turn two, especially in matchups where you're on the draw. You know, those turn, the turn the two drops get better, the, the more expensive spells get worse. Uh, think twice is still fine. It's cost, it's cheap enough that it's not it's not too much of a commitment. If you had just extra kill spells to side in, maybe you do that. But if your extra spells cost three, no, I'd probably still go with the think twice because you can. Attention, magic players! It doesn't actually like change the first two turns of the game yeah. to say decide out think twice for dissipate. You're not really gaining anything. You could because you could have cycled the think twice and then had a random card from the rest of your deck. Probably as good as the dissipate. Uh, the bigger thing is that on the play, uh, David's counter magic lines up so much better. Right. Uh, Solons can be dissipated now. You can leak a ramp spell. Right. I, yeah, I'm not still sure I leak the rampant growth unless 
Please Depending on the rest of my hand, yeah. Yeah. maybe if I have a Liliana, I, I leak it, but... Come on up to the side of it, Yeah, but you get those, you're afforded those options, a lot more of your spells are just live. Right. Yeah, the leak is a funny thing because uh, Sam has some percentage of his draws that have to play just straight into mana leak. Ryan and as best. He also has some draws where he's actually very good at playing around mana leak. And so the decision point of like where you're actually going to fire off your leaks, like if you're going to hold him versus a ram spell, against a ram spell versus countering the ram spell, that's really a pretty complicated decision. And often you're kind of just rolling dice because Sam's draws just have such a wide range of how much mana leak matters. Right. Um, mana leak against something like a Lingering Souls draw is really only buying time. It's not a control card. Right. So on the play out of Ochoa, I think his deck plays primarily the same. Cards like Forbidden Alchemy become better. You can really get afford because you, you can afford the time to, to play them. Ochoa still only was only remember only playing two Forbidden Alchemies in his deck. Yeah, yeah. All the cards that require a little bit of breathing space to have be at their most right. effective get so much better when you're on the play. All your Planeswalkers, your card drawing spells. So having witnessed game two, which side of this matchup would you say you like to be on? Oh, David's for sure. Okay. I, I, I would agree with you, I think. Ochoa, contemplating right, both his hand, both, both keeping. Keep seven. Sam has a Liliana. He's decided to side in his Liliana of the Veils. Could just be the legend rule. Could also just be to, to plus one, but I'm not a huge fan of it I don't really here. like that at all. It's another spell because what it, what to me why I don't like it what that is is it's a spell that David does not have to counter right and that's why I don't like it. And so he decided instead of fighting over the mass spells he's gonna fight over the business spells. He's gonna let a ramp yeah. just draw cards. Two red giant players, your pairings. Especially souls. Yeah, out of a hand like Sam's, which is ramp spells and titans, you kind of wish he would have countered the ramp spell. It makes you think, oh, he's going to have a counter spell for my titan. Oh, I'm going to need a new plan. Lingering Souls, effectively shutting down the early game version of Sam's deck. You know, like I said, Ochoa saving his removal for the late game. And makes his Liliana significantly worse. Yeah, I still don't really like that board in. But uh, he's going to have the Solem, which I think Sam probably runs out here. Yeah. I would be surprised if he has something better to do than casting Solemn Simulacrum. Yeah, as we, and he agrees. As I saw last game, Solemn just so good against David's deck. Because David has souls this time, uh, it won't actually be a clock, but it'll just be a great... I mean, it will still probably be a well, two-for-one in this situation, not a three-for-one. Yeah. Well, it depends how Ochoa's hand is configured. Like, if he has a fourth lane in the mana league, he might just be happy to just start bashing, flash back, and put some and pressure racing. on it. Yeah. If he has enough... If he feels he has enough counterspell removal to keep Sam's big plays off the table, might he be, might be happy racing. And I testament to the strength of Lingering Souls when you see this control deck suddenly deciding to go aggro. Just turn it on, yeah. Yeah. It's very unlikely that David, that Sam has a way to rel to profitably interact with Lingering Souls, more Lingering Souls. Uh, I don't well, we know there's a Massacre and Worm hanging out here, which is probably on Ochoa's mind after yeah. <laughs> after last game. I suppose there is the problem about if you flashback Lingering Souls, you better have a Mana Leak. Yeah. You can't get Massacre <laughs> Worm. Yeah. He does have a, he has a Negate in his hand. Uh, I don't know if Ochoa has any other counter spells. If I were Sam, I probably would just... It's possible that's why Ochoa was tanking so long on that Sphere of the Suns on the second turn. If his counter spells Negate, it's much more attractive than to... Use it there than the mana leak, but if he has Think Twice in his hand, you probably just want to start burning Ladies through your deck. So it's a, a Q play pre combat Gavoni Township means Sa David can't really block here. Sam has to decide whether he actually wants to cast anything into this. He might go cast something low investment, Lingering Souls. Perfect. Right, I think Ochoa, as long as it's not anything too threatening, he'd much prefer to be able to flash back, uh, sorry, to flash back Think Twice than to do any, you know. Well, the Gavoni Township is just so good right here. Right. Sam probably won't play the second half of his Lingering Souls, just, or maybe he, no, he's going to ramp instead. Which is excellent, because, you know, a Gavoni Township plus three creatures, that's plenty to win the game. That's a big enough question that he's, uh, David's right. going to have to answer it. No need to really play any more into this. His only, the only trump card David could have that's like, can go over the top of the threat that Sam's preventing 
presenting is like a consecrated sphinx. I think if David plays a consecrated sphinx, Sam would have to, you know, sweep the board or something right. like that. But other than that, uh, I think it's David has to answer here. Any ghost quarters in Ochoa's deck? Uh, zero. Zero. So Gavoni Township is here to stay. Yep. In the next in this board state, I really like where Sam's positioned. Uh, I really like how it, he's basically, his ramp deck is sneaking in with, with <laughs> Township and, and, and creatures. Yeah, the issue from, from David's perspective is like, does he have enough time to sort of slowly manage Sam's board and then land his big stuff? Or does he tap out for something big here to try to catch up? And possibly expose himself to some gigantic play out of Sam's deck. He can't can't really manage it while keeping mana up. Is this it's tough. Yeah, it's very tough. The township makes it, uh, and and the fact that there's a still lingering souls floating around the graveyard just makes it a very difficult proposition. All right, Gideon. Gideon's gonna brawl off the Sun Titan, or the the, the Solemn Simulacrum. Right. Yeah, draws a card. So David's guard is down. We could have a. There's a bunch of big draws that Matt. Sam could have here. Massacre and Worm would be insane. Even any Titan, assuming that uh, Ochoa doesn't have a Day of Judgment, would be awesome as well. Sam does have a green Titan in his hand. If he attacks, David will probably block souls to souls here. Yeah, for sure. If, if Ochoa would be thrilled with Sam spending his turn jamming a township. Competitors, standings after 13 rounds. And yeah, I'm saying I might do it anyway, you know. He still, David repeat, still has to prove that he can just answer, you know, souls growing and growing. Pre-combat Primeval Titan. I don't really know why you have to do a pre-combat. I mean, you're going to do it anyway. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if you're not attacking. My, yeah, you know, okay, might that's very, may, may not be attacking. So remember, Sam can actually grab a second Gavoni Township here and probably has the mana to do both. Yep. And he, there and they he, are. And Vault. That's, that's that's all his utility lands. After this, he's just getting ghost quarters, manas. right? Ghost, eight, two ghost quarters. But the ghost quarters not very good against Ochoa. Has like nothing really to ghost quarter. So no, plenty of basics. Yep, plenty of basics. No special lands, just duels. David, it's not true. He's got sorry. He's got drown catacombs, but we aren't at a point to be worrying about that just yet. David <laughs> would love to cast a Day of Judgment or Consecrated Sphinx here. Well, maybe not Consecrated Sphinx. Day of Judgment would be excellent. Zach Owen and Brendan Lutze, your legacy win box. Except Sam on his turn Please does have enough mana to stage. double township. Which is, ironically, just enough damage to kill Gideon, who plus twos decides to taunt this turn. Dave, David, full grip of cards, though. Uh, does have He does have the go for the throw for the Titans. The Titans kind of his funds over. Right. He, has, he has a mana leak, a negate, a go for the throat. Well, all of his business, I believe, though, on the table. Back over to Sam. Draws another land. Yet another. And can go to attacks. I assume before we... Be, be, before we go to attacks, stop before attacks. No more lands. He's checking to see if he has enough colored sources Feature to matches. double township. He does. Our table six. Yep. David Gleicher and Josh Snow, please report to the GG's Puts both in front of table. one. He, right, he wants, to, he wants to get Sam to spend his whole term just jamming three. both of his townships. Spain, I'm Sam, I think I'm probably Michael okay Petra. with that. I think I'd do it. Three, please report to the other feature match area. You know, the, the worry is that David will have another go for the throat. And then David can maybe just, uh, you know, Gideon yeah, yeah, will get progressively a way, stronger. Yeah. You go for that one token. Gideon brawls the other token, and then, then suddenly I don't know about Sam's position. Right. I don't know if he has another option, so I think he's going to go for it anyway. Sam's hand, I know at least one land in it, and a Liliana in it, card I'm still not a fan of here. I'm going to do it again. And Ochoa, no go for the throat. Sigh of relief from Sam. Stronger board now. Alchemy made yeah. hopefully for a day. And this is why 
this is why Ochoa, I believe, made that block was he was just just wanted to have the breathing space to be able to fire off his forbidden alchemy. Now the question, though, he could have fired off the. Like he, if he commits, he could fire off the alchemy. I guess he's already made blocks. There's no, there's, it's all, it's all the same. Takes a go for the throat, bins another alchemy in two lands. Gideon's at three. Gideon can taunt one more time. Yeah, and Ochoa just drew a lingering soul, so he's actually starting to like push himself back over, like giving Gideon yeah. enough breathing space to just keep doing his thing. Remember, Ochoa has another souls in the yard, so Gideon will yeah, yeah. brawl he's one got... down. Yeah. And now we're getting to the point where, you know, Ochoa's sitting on Dissipate plus Negate. Like, he actually has some answers to some draws. It's draw Mana Leak and Negate, right? Or is it I, I believe he has a Dissipate in his hand. That's much better. All right. So for as far as ahead as it appears Sam was getting, like, he's, it's still, you know, Ochoa's at 18. Two Forbidden Alchemies in the Graveyard. Two right. Lingering Souls in the Graveyard. Gideon's still doing his thing. He's got a lot of time and a lot of resources to keep, you know, grinding Sam down. Sam really hoping to resolve yeah, this in is, this is This is like the... I, the, I actually think... I, I think it's just Mana Leak. I think Sam's Titans are actually safe here. I mean, relatively. Grand Prix competitors, welcome to the second to last round of Swiss. Good luck to all of you. You have 50 Perhaps minutes. He has you both. I'm not sure. I know he has go for the throat and the gate. Yeah, so. Ten dollar draft number seventeen. Lingering Come souls basically will protect Ten Gideon. Number seventeen. Come on up quite a long time. Stage, please. We're ready to begin. Uh, we're gonna play the Liliana. Not really the card we like here. Uh, Ochoa may negate it just because he has. Yeah, he might not be able to negate anything else. Yeah. Oh, it appears Ochoa has all both the, the dissipate and the mana leak. So maybe we're, so we're both both right. We're both right. Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> See, he'll go for the just, He just has such a such a good slew of spell of counter magic, and Sam with another Liliana in hand. Also, he doesn't want to be too jammed up on mana. It's another thing from Ochoa's side of things. Like with Forbidden Alchemy and Seven Lands in play, he basically just wants to cast his spells now so, to trade in for value as he can, and spend the next couple of turns flashing back his his flashback spells if he can. If you're Sam, would you say? You probably here make both players dis. I actually right. like both. Yeah, and he's yeah, going to make both Enoch, people. Enoch doesn't get you anywhere because there's too many, right, there's too many low souls in the graveyard. Yeah. So he gets that. So gets the mana leak. So keeps go for the throat, uh, and I think he's going to flashback. Sam now probably has time to flashback your own lingering souls. Let's protect Liliana. Let's let's use Liliana to take out the counter magic. So now Ochoa, just with a go for the throat, he does have an alchemy in the yard, which is really important. Right, and I Ochoa think he wants to—he probably wants to cast his go for the throat now, if possible, because he just wants to flashback. Um, it, it's really tempting to use his mana here so he can flashback for Ben Alchemy next yeah, turn. Yeah, th it's tempting. There's also the problem, though, that, like, he's right now cold to Titans, you know, he, two, right. two top deck threats. I mean, obviously the worst thing is, like, Sam could top deck a Karn. That would probably be the, the, the positively worst thing that could happen for yeah. Ochoa. With this army that Sam's amassed, it's going to be very hard. The, the double township threat is very real. Uh, Ochoa's going to have to find a super. Sam has a lot of dead draws here, a few really good ones. Another Lingering Souls would be great. Uh, Massacre Worm would be great. Elish Norn would be great. He probably doesn't have Elish Norn in anymore. Yeah, I would be surprised. Soren, actually, I think also quite a good draw. So Ooh. both Gideon's gonna Superman and attack attack at Liliana. Yep. Uh, lingering. So is the Spirit Token. Uh, I, I think you have to chomp the Gideon. Yeah. Which is actually that one creature leave dying is such a valuable resource here. Now it's, it means his flashback Lingering Souls gets to protect Gideon for another turn. Well, what it, it means that it also means that you know the, remember these souls aren't just one ones right now. They're they're potential five fives, like, without too much effort. So. And Ochoa, drew, I think he drew a land. Definitely not going to cast it. Ochoa, I think you should go. F yeah, he's just going to jam all of his lingering souls here. Up. Play his land. Hope that Liliana gets plus one, and then go for the throat in response if that happens. We right. are. This could be the best massacre worm of all time. However, <laughs> <laughs> it could happen right here, right off the top. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it's in the land. Can't tell. I think Sam's hand's just two lands. Or it's a Soren. Yeah, he's going to go in response. 
the 3-3. Three, three. Throat has been gotten. It's another land. And uh, Sam, a little bit of a tell there, deciding <laughs> shows kind of shows he has another land. So yeah, Ochoa definitely Remember, in the driver's seat Sam now. Sam probably has one more turn to top deck the best massacre we're yeah. Ochoa with uh, all the pressure. Two for Ben Alchemy is still winning in the graveyard. Yeah, Sam's gonna need the the, the gonna need the massacre worm Pronto. right now. Once that alchemy's fired off, it's likely Ochoa will find something to dissipate. At that point, I don't think there's many outs left for Sam. Everything's going at get everything at Liliana. So I imagine a lingering souls is going to block, and then we're just going to township up. Oh no, he's chumping. I guess the chump makes sense if you're presuming your only way to really win. He says he's going to vault, but I know that's not going to work. Gideon. Yeah. Does not work that way, I don't think. And yep. David is informing it does not him that's that not work. That's actually still fine because it like if you're only out as Massacre Worm, you might as well have him keep all the souls, right? Yeah, is it it? And so That ain't it. It's possible that David could still whiff off the uh off the off the yeah, first I mean, yeah, alchemy. Still, he's still got a little bit of time. Remember, because like mana, mana leak's not actually a counter spell right. here anymore. So th there's a limited number of things that Ochoa can actually get that are really great. Yeah, it's basically like he can he has one dissipate and he has uh, one life finale and it's st it actually might be worth with this board being this dominant. It actually might be worth if he doesn't find a if he doesn't find a counter spell actually just a life finale to get massacre worm out of the deck. Right. And just three lands in the yard. Ojo snap keeps something. Didn't have a chance to catch it. Yeah, some spell I would assume. He has a day of judgment, I believe. Is that an? What's it? Oh. Boom. I don't think the mask is an out anymore. Yeah, no, not anymore. It's an 11 spot. 11. Even he plays the Massacre Worm, that will... Gideon will be able to knock him down to 3, because Karn... David will sacrifice the yeah, Karn. Just, yeah. And another land. That's going to be yep. the concession. All right, so David Ochoa wins two games to one. Interesting matchup. We've seen a lot of ramp control matchups. Usually really good matchups for control. Still is here, but I think, you know, Sam 